by a giant. Perfectly ordinary footprint, Susan. And the sun's melted the edges and made it look a bit bigger. All right, Doctor. Uh, a little bit out of breath. Oh, that's quite understandable. After all, we're several thousand feet above sea level. Do you know where we are then, Grandfather? Well, I directed the ship towards us and it looks as though we've been successful. But what about that? That's the well, way I can't see anything without my glasses. Anyway, I don't like this place. Then have to excuse me. I've got a lot of work to do first. And then we must leave. Barbara, I wonder. Do you think it could be the Earth? If it were, where do you think we could be? In the Alps? Or it could be the Andes. Himalayas. Roof of the world. The roof of the world. I wonder. If only. Well, the doctor isn't very reliable, you know. I must count on it. We're always in trouble. This is extraordinary. It follows us everywhere. What's the matter? All the lights in the ship have gone out. The whole circuit has bumped itself to a cinder, and added to that, it affected the water. We haven't got any. Well, the water's no bother, Doctor. I mean, we've got snow, plenty of it. But how about the heating? No, the heating as well. Everything's gone to pot. But that's serious. We could freeze to death. Serious? Are you telling... There's no need for you to tell me that, really. I think I'd better try and find some fuel. Fuel? Now, where on earth do you expect to find fuel here, hmm? Well, I must try, mustn't I? Oh, well, I wish you luck. I'll come with you, Ian. Thank you. Yes, me too. No, Susan, you stay here. You stay with me, Charles. You might be able to help me. Oh, come on, Barbara. We haven't got much time. Well, Susan, go into the ship and fetch me the two hello, will you? Yes. You know what it is. Even if I do find the fort, I don't suppose I shall be able to repair it before it gets dark, and then we shall all freeze to death! Uh, uh, thank you. Wait a minute. I must rest. Come on, Barbara. We haven't found anything yet. We must find something. All right, then. You go on. I'll catch up with you. All right. Oh, it's hopeless. Ian! What is it? What's the matter? I... Or, or something just standing there staring at me. You don't believe me, do you? Well, look at these footprints. I'd better take you back to the ship. Can you mend it, Grandfather, or have you got to make a new one? I'm afraid it's going to mean a new one, dear. And that's going to take me days. Oh, I don't know, really. I'm always in the... Well, Chesterton. Just as you predicted, Doctor. Nothing but snow and ice. Uh, have you found the fault? Yes, yes, yes. But it's going to take such a long time. Time we don't have. Well, the only chance is to try and get down to a lower uh, altitude. And, uh, uh, you know, before it gets cold and then we... Doctor, there are strange things on the mountain. I... I saw one of them. What are you talking about now? Well, I only saw a print. Print? What sort of print? Paws? Who's what? To tell you the truth, I thought it was made by a fur boot. Oh, Ian, I, I'm sure it wasn't well, human. If it were, that means there's shelter nearby. There it is! Quick, up to it. It's our only chance of shelter. Come on, Grandfather. All oh, right, yes, 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 yes. Which way did it go? Grandfather. Keep still. We're travelers, lost on the mountains. Will you give us shelter? Ah. Here. 
hear me, Mongols. In these parts live evil spirits who take our likeness to deceive us and then lead us to our deaths. Let us therefore destroy these evil spirits before they destroy us. We're not evil spirits. We are people like yourselves. Destroy them. Stop! Put up your swords. Would you have us killed? These are evil spirits. I command you in the name of Kublai Khan. The old man has the mountain sickness. Yes, he has. My caravan is further down the pass. Come. Come on, Doctor. Who is he, Barbara? I was asking myself the same question. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. He's not like her, or any of the others. No. He's a European, Susan. And he mentioned Kubla Khan. Kubla Khan? He was a great Mongol leader who conquered all of Asia. European in his service. He was a Venetian and his name... I'm afraid the uh, the liquid is not too warm. But the cold here is so intense it even robs the flame of its heat. Oh, it takes a little nourishment, sir. Mm. The cold can't affect the heat of the flame, sir. The liquid boils at a lower temperature because there's so little air up here. You mean the air is responsible? Well, the lack of it. Just as the lack of it is responsible for the doctor's mountain sickness. Is your name Marco Polo? It is, my lady, and may I ask who you are? Oh, we're, we're travellers, yes. Uh, that's my grandchild, Susan, and that's Miss Wright, and that's Charlton. <laughs> no. Chesterton. <laughs> Ian Chesterton. My companions are the Lady Ping Cho and the Warlord Tagant. We travel to Shangtu. Shangtu? That's in China, isn't it? China? I do not know this place. Shangtu is in Cathay. Oh. Silly of me. Yes, of course, cafe. Well, you must all be very tired. Ping Cho, you will share your quarters with... Susan. Susan, I will sleep here with the others and Lady... Miss Wright. Miss Wright, you will have mine. Thank you. Thank you. You saved our lives. <clears throat> I'm rather curious to know why you were wandering around the mountainside at night. But questions can wait until morning. Uh, there, there, there were two young men that I would like to ask. We'll ask them. Uh, what uh, year is this and, and where are we? You do not know? No, oh, that's why I'm asking you. How long have you been traveling? It is 1289, and this is the plain of Pamir, known to those who travel to Cathay as the roof of the world. The roof of the world? 1289. Ah. <laughs> 